Well, the campus area network is basically the combination of local area networks and it is located under like limited geographical location. Let's have an example. The colleges and universities are the good example of the campus area network because in this particular network you have multiple buildings in the campus right so you connect all these buildings together in this campus area network let's take an example let's suppose there is a campus and in the campus there are the three buildings are located let's name it like uh, building a building b and building c in building a 50 pieces are connected and they have created their own local area network same applies for building b but building C has a different network structure. In building C, there are the servers and internet is located. In server, there are some services are running like FTP server where students can upload and download their projects or study material from FTP server. It also has digital library where students can access this digital library from their PCs. And building C also has the internet connectivity so that the student can connect to the internet for their online research. Now the question is, since building A has its own local area network, same is for building B, and building C has all these resources, but how building A and B could access these resources from building C? Well, in order to share these resources, building A and B should have interconnectivity with building C. Otherwise, they won't be able to access resources from building C. But we know the PCs are installed or connected within the same building. It's called local area network. So what type of network we should use so that two buildings can connect with each other? So there comes this campus area network. But in order to form this campus area network, we need the media to form this campus area network. So what type of media we should use to create this campus area network? As we know from the media perspective, the media can be either wired or wireless. If we are using wired connectivity, it could be copper cable or fiber cable. But by using the copper connectivity, it also has its own limitation. It cannot go beyond 100 meters. If the distance between the devices are installed inside this building is under 100 meter, then we can use copper cable. But the distance is above 100 meter, then we should use the fiber cable. Let's assume the distance between the devices were installed in this building is above 100 meter. So we have used fiber cable to form the interconnectivity between these buildings. And same we created like with all three buildings. So by using this connectivity method, we have connected building A to building B and from building A to building C. Same is from building B to C. So we have created kind of triangle communication. With this interconnectivity among the buildings, we have created a campus area network. But the campus area network also has its limitation. You cannot form the campus area network where one building is in one city and another building is in different city because that could be different type of network. So in order to form campus area network, the buildings should face to each other or they should be inside the same geographical location so that we can create a campus area network. So when the campus area network was created, it was belong to the schools, universities and colleges. Well, the same technique can be applied for the enterprise offices as well. If they have multiple buildings in same geographical location, they can use the same technique as a campus area network. So in some cases, it is also known as corporate area network or company area network. But in most cases, this connectivity type is known as campus area network. Now let's look at what are the advantages of this campus area network. Let's take an example from the connectivity we created among the building A, B and C. Since building C has the central resources like FTP server, digital library and internet access. So by using this campus area network, we can allow building C to share these resources with building A and B 
the another great advantage of having this interconnectivity among the building that they can share resources on high speed bandwidth so in summary when we form network connectivity among the buildings in campus area we basically create a campus area network now let's move on to our next topic which is metropolitan area network